When Titanic sank, almost 1,500 people went into the freezing Arctic water. For the movie, I wrote that Rose gets onto a piece of wooden debris that's too small and unstable to support them both. But ever since the movie came out, people have insisted they both could have survived. Let's do some science. You know, let's see if he could have lived. We took two stunt people of the same age, height, and weight as Jack and Rose to the New Zealand laboratory of Dr. Jim Cotter. We created an exact replica of the raft in the movie as much as we could reproduce it. And we carefully trimmed it to the same freeboard, the same degree of buoyancy that we see in the film. And then we started playing around with like, how could he have gotten out of that situation without compromising her safety? So our first experiment will be a baseline test to see what would have really happened to them. We put him in the same position he was in the movie, put her in the same position she was in the movie, and saw how rapidly his core temperature dropped. Our Jack is losing heat even faster than expected. Rose's core temperature is dropping much more slowly. After only 20 minutes in Titanic time, Jack is clinically hypothermic and has to be taken out of the water. He was losing heat fast, dropping down. He wouldn't have made it. The movie was correct. Jack could not have survived as it was played in the film. But what if Jack and Rose had tried something different? 